You buy MP3s, take photos, write long love letters to Cloris Leachman. What? You do. And you keep it all on your hard drive. Now, if that hard drive crashes, you're done for, unless you backed up. I'm Tom Merritt from CNET.com with some of your best options for backing up on this edition of Insider Secrets. Backing up your data is something we kind of beat people over the head with here at CNET. Hard drives will crash. You are in danger. But what's the best way to back up? Now, there are several ways to do this. We're going to discuss three. External hard drive, network attached storage, and online services. Let's start with the external hard drive. Now, obviously, you don't want to back up to the same hard drive where the original files are. That's just kind of silly. The simplest method is to buy an external hard drive and back up to that. Our favorite here at CNET is the click-free portable backup. It makes the process of backing up as simple as you can imagine. The software is stored on the drive, so you just plug it in and tell it what to back up. You can also do it yourself, though, if you have an old hard drive laying around, say from upgrading a notebook, just put it in a case like this. The Drobo is an excellent way to use multiple spare hard drives to create a large RAID that gives you redundancy. And that means if your computer hard drive and one of your backup hard drives fails, your data is still safe on one of the other drives in the Drobo. If you have OS X, you can use Time Machine, the built-in backup software, to handle the backing up. For Windows, Cobian is a free and open source piece of software, or just use the built-in function in Windows Vista. The next step up is Network Attached Storage. This is a large hard drive usually attached to your router that multiple computers can back up to. Apple users can get the Time Capsule, which works in tandem with Time Machine to do network backups. This little dongle from Adonix is about 60 bucks and can turn any external drive into a network drive. You just plug in the Ethernet cable to the router and the USB from the drive into the dongle. Boom! Network attached storage. Or NAS if you want to sound unintelligible to your family members. If you got the Drobo as an external drive, there's an attachment that will turn that into a network drive. And our favorite NAS solution is the Synology Disk Station. You put the hard drive in it yourself, and it becomes a network attached drive. It also has the capability to communicate with the Xbox 360 and the PS3. We've reviewed many other options at CNET.com, many of which come with a drive built in. But the easiest option, if you have the internet capacity to handle it, is online backup. Apple offers MobileMe for its users. It can sync contacts, settings, etc., but it maxes out at 60 gigabytes, and it's kind of expensive. Carbonite is a favorite for 50 bucks a year. It backs up whatever you want, working away quietly in the background. For file backups with some options for sharing, look at Dropbox and Box.net. Both have free options and give you more capacity if you pay a little more. Microsoft offers a couple of good options, too. Microsoft Mesh is in beta at this recording and so freely offers to sync your folders. It's limited to 5 gigabytes, but can keep several computers synced up. Microsoft's SkyDrive gives you 25 free gigabytes and uses ActiveSync to back up documents from one computer to the sky. Supports Macs, too. One last option I like is Jungle Disk. They charge you 15 cents per gigabyte with no monthly fee. That's the one I use, and I really like it. So there you go, people. You have no excuse now not to back up. That's it for this Insider Secret. I'm Tom Merritt from CNET.com. What are you doing? Your hard drive might be crashing right now. Go back up. Now.